Hello everyone. Today I will talk about reading. Any kind of reading provides stimulation for your brain. But different types of reading give unique experiences with varying benefits. For many years, I stopped reading and writing, and I missed both greatly. What was my reason? I got busy with life. And because both activities require solitude, my busyness prevented me from achieving them. In the year 2017, I resumed writing. I also did a little of reading. Last year, the year 2020, I read a little more than I did since 2017 when I resumed reading, but still not proud of the many books I read. If you are like me and you would like to pick up your reading pace, you just need to take it one step at a time. Be proud of your accomplishments and do not stop reading. Today, I will share some books I read in the year 2020 with you. And I have seven books in number. The first one is My Sister, the Serial Killer by Oyiko Braithwaite. It was my first time attending a meeting at both boys and poets, and I found out they actually sold books. That was in 2019. I stopped by the bookstore and I searched for a book I would like to read. The moment I saw this book, I would not let it go. So I picked it and read it and I read it again in 2020. I love the book so much. It tells the story of a young girl who kills her boyfriend and her sister covers her up. I found a theme of wickedness, love, family life and many more in the book. I guess I loved it more because I found familiar names of people and town in it. It felt so homely while I was reading it. So my advice to you is just pick up a book that interests you. You might be struggling with some of the reads you have presently, but if you go out there, go to a physical bookshop, look around and, you know, shop for books that will interest you. The second book is Daniel Steele's Past Perfect. It tells the story of a family who relocated to a historical house in San Francisco. The past and present suddenly collide for them in the elegant mansion filled with tender memories and haunting portraits when an earthquake shocks them the night they arrive. The original inhabitants appear for a few brief minutes. In the ensuing days, the Gregories meet the large and lively family who lived there a century ago. The two families are delighted to share elegant dinners and warm friendship. I enjoyed reading the book from the start, but didn't really like it eventually. Not as much as I loved my sister, the serial killer. I guess that book was my top read for 2020. My sister, the serial killer. This is really interesting. I found this author on Twitter and I read his book. The title of the book is Guess Who's Coming to Launch by Astana S.A. Okay, so this is a very short story. A science fiction that gets me laughing at some point. I mean, how would you introduce a machine as your boyfriend? This book actually tells the story of a human who fell in love with a machine. She brought him home to introduce to her parents. Really? <laughs> she brought a machine boyfriend to introduce to her parents at lunch. I mean, it was my first time of reading something like that and it really got to me and I enjoyed reading the short read. I also read A Particular Kind of Black Man by Tucker Folari. This tells the story of a young boy whose family migrated from Nigeria to America. He faces criticisms by his classmates as they wonder why he looks so different. All right, so his father gets busy with his life, chasing his American dreams, while his lonely wife sinks deep into schizophrenia. I hope I said that right okay and this is a kind of mental disorder It's a long time mental disorder all right she finally went back to her country and the boy and his siblings had to face a life without their mother 
and then a life with a stepmother and stepbrothers and a lot of experiences he went through as a growing African child in America. I enjoyed reading the story as well because some of these stories, you know, some of uh, the things this boy went through are real life experiences, experiences that are relatable, you know, and um, it was a very interesting read for me. And that story at some point really touched me because the boy went through a lot. At first, he had to deal with his sick mother and then he had to deal with the new wife um his father got and then he had to be a part of his father's business while they were going around there was a time they were selling ice creams and things like that so it's a book if you think you will like it you may pick it up and read it and see what i'm talking about daniel steals lost and found now i was at the hairdresser and i tried to get busy because i knew i would be there for four to five hours and i searched my kindle for a story i might like to read and I found this book. And I downloaded the excerpt a long time ago. So I read it. And when the excerpt ended, I wanted more. So I ordered the book. I was happy it came the next day. What came to my attention was the story of a daughter jealous of her mother and speaks to her rudely. I mean, I have seen that in actual life. But reading about it confirms my love for literature as it mirrors the society. I love reading relatable stories and that right there got me. Her words got her mother thinking of her past love life and lovers and she went searching for them. Hoping to find some type of answers she was looking for. I love the story so much. I used to read Daniel still many years ago. But since I have resumed reading, I have found her again and I still enjoy reading her books. One of them is Lost and Found. I hope everyone finds whatever they are looking for in life. And of course, I read my book, Colors of Love. It's always here with me. Okay? I read it over again to re-edit and to republish in 2020. I must confess that I am proud of my accomplishments as a writer. And if I didn't write Colors of Love, I would have it listed as one of my favorite books. You may look into the description below to link the videos where I was reading some chapters. I also read my book, The Waiting Room. I read it to re-edit and to republish. Okay? And uh, one of the criticisms of the waiting room was that it needed a translation. You know, there are some Yoruba words sprinkled in the book. And I've had two, three people say to me, you need to translate those words because as much as we enjoyed reading the stories, we would love to know what those words, you know, meant. So I read the book again last year and I included the translation in the new edition. The Waiting Room is a collection of Christian plays. You may link the video where I read one of the stories, the Christmas present, in the description below. So this concludes the list of books I was going to share with you in this video. Be on the lookout for my next video where I will introduce you to my TBR for the first quarter of 2021. And if you're wondering what TBR is, it means to be read. If you would like to do a lot of reading this year, I will advise that you make a list of the books you want to read because that will also help you. All right. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.